12 members of the Baha'i faith have been arrested on suspicion of spying for Israel in Iran's northern Mazandaran province. Now, the Iranian news agency is reporting that two of the heads of the organization were trained at the World House of Justice located in the Baha'i center in Haifa. Now, it's alleged they set up a spy cell with other members of that organization. The Iranian Ministry of Intelligence saying the members of the organization communicated in secret, relying on the basis of messages sent from Haifa and what it calls the Zionist regime. So for more reaction and insight, we now welcome Professor Uzi Rabi, the director at the Moshe Dayan Center for Middle East Studies at Tel Aviv University and senior researcher at the Center for Iranian Studies at the same university, joining us live from Herzliya. Professor, thank you so much for your time. So this is the second time Iranian intelligence reports have talked about these arrests on suspicion of spying for Israel from the Baha'i faith. What exactly is the connection between these key figures and Israel? Well, I mean, uh, it is not the first time that the Iranians in the recent years actually point to kind of a minority in Iran. And one should take note that Iran is a kind of a state where its demographic composition uh, points to many, many minorities which are located on the different flanks of the state. At this time, we do talk about the Baha'i sect. This is a sect that was founded in the mid-19th century. And I must say, uh, Baha'is in Iran are sort of a pariah. They were outlawed. And I seem, or it seems at least to me, very, very convenient to accuse them for uh, spying for Israel, so to speak, especially as it is well known that in Haifa, in Israel, also in Acre, we have Baha'i centers. Uh, from time to time, Baha'is are coming to these centers actually to go through sort of a, a secular or religious uh, education or seminars. And the Iranians actually were capitalizing on such issues in order to save face and to say that there are spies uh, on behalf of Israel in Iran. This is something that uh, makes them actually sell the merchandise better when it comes to the domestic consumption. This is something that makes them actually, again, you know, come up with sort of an excuse, an explanation of how this hidden hand in Iran uh, is damaging actually the regime and its security forces. And I dare say that this is something that is very, very typical from time to time for the Iranian regime to come up with that kind of an accusation. Uh, basically, this is, in my opinion, sort of, uh, you know, uh, kind of an invented stuff which is coming up, I mean, the Iranian are coming up with in order to uh, just uh, create sort of a counter campaign against Israel in the West. It may or may not be made up, but these allegations are quite detailed. They include, Professor, contact with Mossad agents through a neighboring country, entering Iran through Kurdistan, also using up-to-date technology. What exactly are they accused of doing in terms of spying? What is Iran alleging this community is up to, so to speak? So, uh, I mean, this community is being accused by Iran steadily on... Uh, First of all, internal background, they are being accused of uh, uh, trying to convert many Shiites to Baha'ism. Uh, they were, as I said before, outlawed in 2013 by a fatwa from Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. And as uh, from then on, they are sort of a pariah in Iran. But once again, actually, when the Iranians are coming with such accusations, there are two different parties in it or Arabs or Kurds together with the Mossad and there are Arabs and Kurds minorities in Iran on top of that you have the Mossad and here comes the narrative which is I mean uh, goes back and forth this is something that the Iranians actually turned it into industry I must say that from time to time there must be something in it but basically uh, this time when it comes to the Baha'is um, I mean, the Iranians actually took it too far because uh, uh, these are not the typical, so to speak, spies that Israel would actually uh, enlist or any other Western uh, power in order to do uh, uh, or to 
make sort of a you know a proxy or somebody working uh, on behalf of you inside Iran. So um, you know uh, the Baha'i sect is very very comfortable, very easy to haunt or to daunt or to to be uh, you know to be accused of such uh, such. Uh, issues and elements. And I, I I would say that this is also part of the anti-Israeli, anti-Western campaign from time to time, whether it is true or not, the Iranians are coming up with such a story. This time they took it too far, I think. We have heard in the beginning, it was in the beginning of August, now the beginning of September, the Baha'i sect and Baha'is are becoming spies actually in favor of Israel against the regime. Well, this is another story. Uh, in my opinion, this is actually far from truth, but basically it serves Iran when it comes to the domestic consumption and while trying actually to argue against the Western Israel in general. Very briefly, Professor, we saw in Gaza today what happens if a person is caught spying for Israel. There were executions on this day. Very briefly, what kind of punishment would somebody from the Baha'i network be facing if they were found guilty in Iran? Very briefly, please. Uh, well, I think that uh, some of them could be imprisoned, actually, even if tortured. But as I said before, actually, they are, uh, you know, I mean, they are on the margins of the society. They were outlawed. So basically, actually, they are already in kind of a very, very a sort of misery. The Iranians are going actually to just uh, deal with that in uh, in accordance with their punishment. But basically, we uh, the most important thing for the Iranians is the publication of the thing. Well, we certainly appreciate your insight as always. Professor Uzi Rabi, live from Herzliya, thank you for being Pleasure. on The Rundown.